Welcome back guys, if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe, of course, there is a £200 giveaway at 12k of FIFA points, if you want to be in for a chance of winning, just slide me an Instagram showing that you are subscribed, of course, I'm going to be teaching you how you can get a team like mine, but if you do want a quicker way of getting some coins, well, if you guys are looking to get some FIFA coins to improve your team and smash through Weekend League, check out U4GM, FIFA 23 coins, and you can use code RECALL for 5% off at checkout, make sure to go check out the sponsor guys, but let's get into the video. Now it is absolutely embarrassing the players I had to put in to do this player pick, I'm going to turn around. I'm going to do the pick, and as I do it, right, so you guys can see I can't, right? I would least want to get out of this whole pick Zidane, because I've done most of his SBC. Carlos Alberto, Maldini, Roberto Carlos, I've already got them, right? All I want is a good attacker. And I'm assuming you guys have already seen that I haven't got one. But, Roberto, Ricardo Carvalho. Oh, is this Heroes, not World? Oh, this could be ropes. It was a hero. I thought it was a World Cup icon. That's even worse. Oh, mate. We've got fodder. So, after that terrible pick, we're going to go for some League One players, first of all. Um, obviously, you've got PSG now. Gold Rare doesn't really do anything for him. I think you could do Gold Rare midfielder. Um, you've got these guys. It's not too bad. You've got Sola, Fabian, and Renato Sanchez. So, we can do that. Uh, as a starting point, obviously 1.2k, they're a little bit over that being 83s right now. Um, so you want to go to around 1.6, 1.5, um, maybe a little bit lower at 1.4. So 1.3 there is a snipe, you can sell that for 1.6. EA tax at 1.6 is 80 coins, so that's about 220 coin profit there. So what I would say is try go for 1.3 and below because you will find quite a few cards. Being that it is a lower budget filter, it's always best to try and squeeze a couple coins if you can extra. So three cards have just popped up there. We've missed all three of them, but that would have been some very easy sniper and remember you've got to click a as you search on this other version of the transfer market for those of you who don't know you go on the squad screen you click lb and you'll land here now obviously you've got to go back to midfielder the only thing it resets when you come off of the filters is the positioning so we're going to try and get another one and um, but i will show you another psg filter as well once again in the same budget we've missed that fabian there and um, as i said if you're not clicking a as you're searching which i do forget to do almost every time you are going to miss the snipes which is very frustrating for for me oh oh I, I mean, we should have got that one there. I did click A and then it's back this off it. But, you know, not everyone is a mid a win. Oh, we've missed a 1.2 and a 1.1 there. So you've got a little bit of extra profit. Oh, very easy loss there. Right, we're going to go have a look quickly at the gold commons available from PSG. These guys are still, if you take off the price cap, you've got Sarabia, you've got Pereira, Vintaya. Um, I think there is some other players, but those three alone are good enough. So if you go to around, let's have a look, the 800 mark, are there? Okay, so you've got one at 850, and um, you've got a couple there at 900. 950 much there? 950, okay, so realistically, the sell-on for these is K, 50, 50, 50 coins EA tax. So if you go down to 800 coins, you're going to be making 150 coins per card with an 800 investment. Very, very easy. Cards come up very quickly. You've got a craver like that going for 600 coins. That is an instant 350 coin profit. And obviously, when you are on a lower budget, it's good to have a couple options. So you've got PSG, gold, rare, and normal. So you've got midfielders. Uh, we don't need midfielder. That's where I'm going wrong, is you can just go common. So if we go up a bit, um, you can see there's still not many more players, but if we take off... Uh, okay, so you've got... Akita K, you got the uh, Sergio Rico, so you do have a couple more. You don't want the midfielders on this, but for the gold rays, you do. Just go, I'd say even 850, because being that the keeper's there and the French striker there as well, he goes for a little bit more. Parade there, 850, we've managed to get one, okay. So that's a 100 coin profit. Obviously, it's not brilliant. If you're getting a ton, that is good, but obviously, that's our minimum here. Um, he is the, the cheapest selling on card that there will be. The French striker will go for a little bit more, and I believe the goalkeeper will too. Obviously, I think most of this is from the league SBC, so you've got a good opportunity to make some coin. Ooh lovely Sarabia that's nice so you can see there's not a lot of competition for the lower end of profit we can probably squeeze 1.1 out of him so that's going to be a 200 coin profit as well Vitania there again oh Banat that one 700 coins he actually goes for a little bit more as well so that's lovely we'll pop him up for about 1.3 and that's very nice we missed the Sarabia but that's fine we've got a nice Banat there we got oh Akitake at 400 coins let's have a look see if we can get one more before we move on 10 oh we missed both of them or have we? We got one of them. That's a win. Well, we'll list him up for a K um, just because we got him uh, a bit easy. So we do, we do want to move on as well as possible. Now, of course, this isn't as low budget, but this is a really easy filter to be using at the minute. Right now, simply just go for foot heroes. 
You can pick a league, um, but if you just go for Foot Hero right now, let's find them on the listing. Am I being stupid or am I just missing it? Foot Hero, there it is. So Foot Heroes, the cheapest ones right now have actually raised in value. Now, it depends what league you're going for, but if you go Liga Santander, I think, so Foot Heroes, you've got Rickon there is the cheapest. Now, you've got these two, Dempsey and Rickon. If you actually have a look, Dempsey and Rickon, let's have a look. Dempsey's minimum right now is 10K. So these guys off the bat are actually snipes, which is really silly. Um, you can just sit here and snipe basically foot heroes but we'll see if we can get anything coming up on here and then i'll show you the leagues that i think are best to snipe right now because there is a few that have some good contenders that are very similarly priced and are a little bit better now obviously if you are on a lot of coin balance you do want to start with them cheaper methods and don't worry we've got another one for the video but i wanted to run through this because right now the state of the market this is actually a really good one and um, to be going for so if you can't find much on just foot heroes if you go over to liga santander the players you've got are Forlan. Captavellia, Mazquez, um, you've got Marquisio, you've got Morientes. So you do have a lot. Now, if you just go for Spanish, um, you've got Captavellia and Morientes very similarly in there. So you've got the Spanish option here. Um, you've got 40k on Morientes. Obviously, Captavellia being one of the best left backs in the game. Um, his hero card, you know, for World Cup hero card, sorry, is one of the best in the game. He's His base card is also very good. So I do think that he's, he's not going to be any cheaper, but you can snipe him under the filter. Now, EA Tax takes this down by about 2k, and you want to obviously make profit so 36 is not a bad mark to be at now you can pick up quite a few of these quite easily now the other version of this filter that you might want to have a look at is just plain Liga Santander the bottom level of that is Mostovi and I believe Melito is on there as well to my knowledge I don't know if I'm getting that wrong but I'm pretty sure Melito is also there um, and in homage to him after just picking him up in a horrid pick that we've we've seen there he's also one that you can go for so there's a, there's a few good options striker liga santander as well and um, you'll have if to my knowledge do, 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 if we go down to striker it is let's have a look you'll have forlan morientes and am i right in saying malito's in this one or is he syria for that card because he does have a liga santander card in one of them let's have a look syria striker Melito, yeah, so, so he's over in uh, the Serie A, that's my bad, but you can do League Santander, they both work, so it is a really good way uh, of getting some coins. Now, moving on to another filter that is league-based and working very well, if we go over to, who is it we were looking at, Arsenal, I think it is, let's have a look at Arsenal first of all, just to check, I think gold comments, yes, they do have a fair few, and they are going for a little bit over what they should be right now, if we go to the lowest end, 350, so at 850, you've got a few there, it's not looking great, no, right, what we will do is Arsenal Silver Rares. They've now got both of those boys up and I think Silver Rares are currently useful. So if we have a look at the 1.1 mark, there's not much under there. So you've got a couple here. Let's have a look through. There's a 600 there. That's easily a snipe, right? We'll list that up for a K. So you want anything under, I'd say 700 coins is possibly a push. Um, but we're going to go for it anyway. That's not a bad shout. Um, you want to list all of these at K. All the Arsenal Silver Rares can sell on for a K there. Nelson as well. That one's obviously not as much profit. You know, like I say, if you can go 700 um, and below is, is probably the best mark to do at if you want a good profit bracket. Another under there. Another one. There's not many on the market as you can see. So I can pretty much clear the market of anything under a K really easily. Um, and then we can just kind of, we're laughing there. But then you also, obviously you can do your bidding as well. So if we set the max price to, let's say 550. And so if we bid, obviously bidding, a little bit more difficult, you want to bid like that. Do not click buy now. Buy now is the worst thing you could possibly do. You will lose a ton of coins on cards that are not worth it. And that obviously is the biggest L you can kind of have in FIFA. So we're going to bid on all of these because they are all at 300. Now we might only win 10 of 30 that we bid on but all of them if you're selling them on for like even 800 coins if you undercut it you're still making a ton oh we almost did a buy now see very easy to do i don't want you guys thinking it's not easy because it is and it is very detrimental to your coin balance but obviously if you go there you're paying 10 if you go there you're paying 300 so you gotta be careful with that it is an easy easy mistake to make but we can avoid it as much as possible now just for you guys who are struggling a little bit with the coinage there there's an easy filter over in syria you've got juve you want to go to defender um, and you want to go gold rare now i believe i think it's defender i don't know if you have to make any yeah you don't need to have, make any other additions i don't think any more i mean previously you did but now the the 83 tax is good so you're looking at about let's have a look 
1.7 maybe? Yeah, so 1.9 seems to be the point you kind of want to sell them on, maybe even 2K arguably. Yeah, 2K for the sell on, 200 coin EA tax, 200 coins for profit. Anything you pick up, you make a 200 coin profit per card. Anything lower than that, you've got a little bit more. If you can get a low quadrado, you might be able to squeeze him up quite well. So you've got some good opportunity. Being that 83s are up, oh, that was a big miss. Big swing and a miss there. We're not going to get that card, no? Right, okay, fair enough. So you just want to let me buy it low and just sit there. Thank you, EA, for your terrible systems. But we are coming to a closure of the episode. I hope you found some filters useful. If you have, make sure to go subscribe. If you're looking at this thinking, well, I've got tons of coins. I need more coins. Check out my video from yesterday. We did 1K to 100K, and tomorrow we'll be looking, tomorrow or Tuesday, it'll be 1 mil. Uh, so 100K to a mil, and we just missed another Bremer, which is why we're going to call it a day. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you tomorrow.